My name is Lakai Tomabel. I'm a Biennale artist for Niren 2020. My work is called The Last Resort and I'd like to illuminate the most invisible frontlining communities who are already impacted by climate change. They're mostly coastal communities, low-lying island communities and predominantly from the Pacific. We've been working with the material of glass. We've collected and sourced it locally. We have bagged them into uh, these white bags that replicate sea walls that Pacific people have been lining their coastlines to um, protect themselves from the increasing weather changes and patterns of tsunamis and cyclones. We have filled them with bottles of glass collected from Sydney and we have been interested in looking at the relationship between sand, uh, silica and um, the everyday vessels that we consume our drinks and food from and we thought that it would be a really simple um, material to work with to identify the fragility of communities the strength of communities and the resilience of communities who are already impacted by climate change. It's a live artwork, so we've made the installation over a period of three or four days on Cockatoo Island. I'm interested in working with scale that represents the enormity of the issue of climate change and also the relationship between melting ice glaciers and the rising sea levels that um, communities are already experiencing. This is happening across the Torres Strait already, around Polynesia, Micronesia and Melanesia and of course Southeast Asia. So I'm interested in the whole Pacific Rim. As a Pacific Islander, uh, I've been in a process of grief around the loss of my own ancestral home and so this work is trying to look at who's doing the heavy lifting around environmental work and climate change. We know um, here in Australia that we uh, should be moving towards renewable energy sources. I think we're moving way too slow and so this work is a meditation um, it's offering a meditation around fragility, around resilience and adaptation in the hope that um, the wider community will make more action towards the change that's needed for vulnerable communities. Uh, my collaborator and co-divisor and cousin and mother, his name is Daliu Aloa. He came in from a remote island in Tonga to work with me and we spent uh, the the time of the venissage, preparing the glass and bringing it into the space as a performance. So then when the show, the exhibition is open, what you're seeing is the residue of our live performance. In this performance with my cousin, we are looking at the edges of our relationships. So where those two edges intersect, is the space in between us, which we call VAR. And so this is how I've approached um, Brooks' uh, framework of Niren and the Edge, is looking at the edge between myself and my collaborators, the edges between myself and the environment, and that's how I've made this performance work. And looking at the fragility, looking at the sharpness, looking at the uh, the strength um, through the material of glass and through our relationships to one another.